Hi, busy bugs. How are you today? You're good? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. So I'm back today with a new story for us to read. And this week we've been learning all about, yay, we've been learning about space. You're right. So this story is also about our solar system. And that's what we call all of the planets that are up in the sky. So can you help me read the title? Do you see any sight words? What's this one? Good. The planets. You know that word. In. Very good. The planets in our solar system. Very good. The planets in our solar system. So we're going to learn about the planets in our solar system. It's by Franklin M. Branley, and it's illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. The planets in our solar system. What do you think those kids are doing? What does it look like? Have you ever done that before? Have you ever gone outside and looked at the stars? See if maybe you can do that tonight. If you live where there aren't a lot of lights on at nighttime, you'll be able to see the stars and maybe even some planets. They look like teeny tiny little stars because they're so far away. We all live on planet Earth. Our planet is called Earth. It's one of the nine planets that go around the sun. So in this story, it's gonna talk about nine planets. And sometimes you might hear people talk about eight planets, but we have a tiny dwarf planet called Pluto. Have you ever heard of Pluto? We're gonna learn about that one too. So sometimes people call it a dwarf planet and sometimes they call it a regular planet. So we're gonna see what this book says. You probably know the names of some of the planets. Maybe you know all of them. The nine planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So this one says that Pluto is a planet. So it could be a dwarf planet or a regular planet. The nine planets are part of the solar system. The most important part of the solar system is the sun. The word sol means sun in Latin. So the solar system means the sun system. Solar system, so sun system. That's really interesting. After the sun, the most important parts of the solar system are the nine planets. Have you ever tried to find the planets in the sky? Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are very dim. Hmm, what does dim mean? Dim. Yeah, very good. It means light. If you dim the lights, it gets less bright, right? Very good. You need a telescope to see them. You don't need a telescope to see Venus, Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn. They look like bright stars, but they don't twinkle. They glow. You might have seen them and thought they were stars. You don't need a telescope to see Mercury either. You can see it in an early evening just after sunset. The sky is not very dark then, so you have to be a good sky watcher to find Mercury. But there is another part of the solar system that you can see easily. And we see it every night. Do you know what it is? The moon. The moon goes around Earth. It's called Earth's satellite. Most of the other planets also have satellites. Asteroids are also part of the solar system. So are comets and meteoroids. Asteroids are big chunks of rock that go around the sun. Many are as big as a house. Some are as big as a mountain or even bigger. Comets are collections of ice, gas, and dust. 
The center of a comet may be only a few miles across. The tail of gases may be millions of miles long. Meteoroids are bits of rock and metal. Some are as large as boulders, but most are as small as grains of sand. Have you ever seen a shooting star? It was not really a star. It was a meteoroid falling toward Earth. The solar system has many parts. The sun, the nine planets, the satellites of the planets, asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. The main parts of the sun and nine planets, sorry, the main parts are the sun and the nine planets. Seven of the planets have one or more satellites. Four of them have rings. The nine planets move around the sun. They move in paths called orbits. The drawing shows the orbits. Mercury takes only 88 days to go around the sun. Pluto takes much longer than that. It takes about 248 years. Can you believe that? But it's a teeny tiny planet and it's all the way at the end of the solar system. It's the furthest one. See, this is Pluto. Way up there. So I can imagine it would take a really long time to get all the way around. Wow. Mercury is close to the sun than any other planet, but even Mercury is millions of miles from the sun. Suppose you could fly from Mercury to the sun in a rocket, and suppose the rocket went 50,000 miles an hour. It would take more than four weeks to get there. It's a long time. It would take the same rocket over eight years to go from Pluto to the sun. Pluto is farther from the sun than any other planet, but it isn't always. From 1979 to 1999, it, was, it has been closer to the sun than Neptune. From 1999 to, to 2250, Pluto will once more be the farthest planet from the sun. Very interesting. Neptune and Pluto are farthest from the sun. That is why they are the coldest planet. Temperatures on these planets are about 328 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. That's much colder than any place on Earth. Even the South Pole never gets that cold. Ooh, we would definitely need our scarves and our jackets like this guy. Look at him. Ooh. Mercury and Venus are the hottest planets. The temperature on Mercury reaches 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes it is much colder. On Venus, the temperature stays around 860 degrees Fahrenheit. Could we survive in weather like that? I don't think so. Here, it only gets to like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. They're saying 860 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew, that's too hot. Planets and animals cannot live on Mercury or Venus. They would burn up. They cannot live on Neptune or Pluto either. They would freeze. Jupiter and Saturn are also very cold. Of all the planets, Earth is the only one where people live. We think no other planet in our solar system has plants or animals of any kind. So Earth is the life planet. Earth is a middle-sized planet. Four of the planets are smaller than Earth. They are Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Pluto. And four of the planets are larger than Earth. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Jupiter is the biggest of all planets. It is much bigger than Earth. Suppose Jupiter were a large hollow bowl. Ball over 1,000 Earths could fit inside it. Pluto is the smallest planet. It is much smaller than Earth. It is even smaller than the moon. More than 100,000 Plutos would fit inside Jupiter. Wow. Do you think you can really put stuff inside there? I don't think so. Earth is the most important planet to you and to all of us. That's because it's the planet where we live. It is not the biggest planet in the solar system, nor is it the smallest. It is, an, it is not the hottest or the coldest. Earth is about in the middle and it's just right for us. Wow, that 
was very informative. We learned lots of new things about the planets in our solar system. So like I said at the very beginning, Pluto is called a dwarf planet. So some people still say that it's a planet in our solar system and some people don't. So that's up to you. We'll see you next time. Bye, busy bugs.